Hey guys, I'm here with Shannon. We're in New York City with American Girls. We're going to the Lila Minetti launch party. Yes. But we're at FAO Schwartz right now. We're about to go in. Oh, <laughs> Yay. Good morning. Look at all this putty. All right, let's go. Oh my god, the Jelly Cat Diner. <laughs> I'm so excited. Because why is it the cutest thing I've ever seen? And look at the Barbie. Look at that. That's so cute. This is so, so cute. Oh, I love. I love this. I love it. <laughs> they are so cute. Look at all the little snowmen. Oh my god, wait. I have the skiing mouse, but I think I need. The wait, they have Christmas ornaments. They have Christmas ornaments. I need sledding mouse oh, to go with my because I have I skiing mouse. Love that. I need that. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. I'm not getting a real tree this year. I'm getting that tree. <laughs> oh my god, they have Mary and like a Christmas mouse. This is so cute. Oh, I have the pink one. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look, this is so cute. Look at the peanut. You should get a peanut for peanut. But like stuff it with catnip inside. No, don't, don't ruin it. Like that. She would so, like that. Wait, these are it. so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, look at all the tiny little cakes and stuff. That is so cute. Wait. <gasps> Shannon, look at this big pizza. Whoa, I've never seen this one. It's like oh, dragon fruit. Yeah, dragon fruit. At the Joey Cat Diner and we're in Barbie Land. Welcome to the Barbie shop, the baby adoption. Wait, where? Are you serious? Okay, wait, there's people trying to come in though. This is so cute. Oh, wait, look at them. I love her. Ooh. Oh my god. I love Barbie. Um, no. It's FAO Schwartz. Oh my goodness, that's so cute though. Wait, I like need this. I need him so desperately. That is so cute. Look at this. The Jelly Cat Land. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see their little faces? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute. All right. They're having a little meeting in there. The store Nobody's opens. Lined up. Nobody's lined up. Us. Unless they're at the other entrance. There's another entrance. It's on like the other. We'd have to go all the way. Around. Okay, we walked to the other entrance. No one is here. Imagine she's just like not here today. Look how cute she is. Wait, she's actually so cute. Look at her outfits. Her collection. Wait, look how cute. She's literally so cute. Wait, Sharon, there's so much more. Look right here. Because these ones aren't in the glass. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. Isn't she so cute? Girl. We're walking around. I have a Lila. And Shannon's still picking. Still looking. Ooh, wait, here's like the. Yeah. I love the cheerleaders. I do like that. The Patriots does have one. Cowboys. This is so cute. They like built this. Oh my god. He's like selling it. That's really cute. She's pretty. She's a tree. She is. Do you want to go see them? Yeah. Right there on that like wall. Oh wait, do you want to see the princesses real quick? Look! 
Bell was my favorite of them. Jasmine is really pretty. She is. I do really she like her. She is my princess. Like Jasmine is my princess. Mine was Aurora. As that a kid. That was my first princess. That was my. And then, then as like I like older, I like Tangled Jasmine. now, but I didn't like that doll. She was my least favorite of the dolls. Well, yeah, Shannon, come like on this. Oh my god, look at the displays. These are so cute. But this is all the Truly Me dolls. Well, like, there's a bunch of them. Like in, oops, sorry, in here. I know. I love her. I love her too. Her name is Totally Emery. Oh, this is the new Something Navy collection. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. And the new. Oh, wait, they look so cute. I know, and then they have that one, the... I don't like her, though, the Shimmer doll. <laughs> and they have the Birthstone collection. I'm actually obsessed. And look, they're, like, mixing and matching it in the middle, which I think is really cool. That's something that I'd want to do. Like, I'd rather get certain outfits for different pieces, not, like, necessarily to wear them as a full outfit. I don't know if I would do it like this, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would definitely do it. Like, I like the red, white, blue one. That is cool. I like that. That is cool. But yeah, I love most of these. All right, we just checked out. Shannon bought a doll. I got a couple of outfits that I was looking for, and Lila. Look at her. And Shannon got 108. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. I literally love her. A little unboxing. <gasps> unboxing. Ooh. Okay. And then she has, she actually has a really cute outfit. Some of the Truly Me outfits are not that cute. This one's this pretty one cute. I really like this. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? I love. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, she like feels like really like new. She's new. Oh my god. All right, how do I even begin to get these out? Oh, <laughs> it's. Look oh god, at like how cute. Oh my goodness, are her bracelets in here? They are. Look at this, look at the shoes. Wait, I need to feel this. She's actually so pretty, I'm obsessed. She's gonna take off the hairnet. We got it from like the front. The front? Yeah, like that. This is the best part. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Oh, oh wow. So pretty, that is so pretty. <laughs> okay, so I got back from the American Girl store um, a couple days ago. I've been holding off opening the doll because as you can tell, uh, I lost my voice. This is actually a lot better than it was uh, so it's not great and I do apologize if this sounds really annoying uh, but I've been waiting to open this doll for three days and I'm like getting tired of waiting I really want to open her up so we are going to take a look at everything that I got at American Girl first of all I got a couple outfits that I had been wanting and just decided to pick up because I was already there so from the new something navy collab. I love these two pieces and I'll definitely pair them together. This like white sparkly sweater and then these are like the pleated pants um, and they have sparkles on them as well and I will open this up. And then I also got Nikki and Isabel's um, the recreation outfits from like the uh, this is the red vinyl jumper outfit recreation and then this is the year 2000 outfit recreation so these are outfits that they made back in the 90s and reproduce them for Nikki and Isabel's collection, which I really love because these are two really cute outfits, so I'm excited to have these for my dolls. And then I have Lila's accessories and the doll herself in here. I'm so excited to open her up because she is just so pretty. <laughs> So yeah, we have Lila and her accessories. 
Really quick, let's open the clothes first so I can show you these and then we'll get to the main portion. So, this I think is gonna be so, so cute. And they come on these little plastic hangers, or they're cardboard, cardboard hangers. So this sweater has Velcro in the back and it has like a sparkly thread. Very, very cute, I really like this. Perfect for winter. And then the pants. I love a lot of this collection actually. I'm so glad that they have been doing collabs and making more like grown up looking outfits. I really like it because I like to make my dolls a little older. These are the pants, so cute. And they have little sparkles on the bottom. The back does not have the sparkles, but this is gonna be such a cute outfit. Okay, I also wanna open these outfits. Um, let's start with the red vinyl jumper outfit. So this is supposed to be for Nikki. This is so cute. So the zippers do actually work, but you, and oh, you can put stuff in the pockets. There's like a really little pocket space, which is really cute. And then these snaps do not come undone, so don't pull on them, they'll break. It Velcros in the back so you can get it on and off the doll. So that's the red vinyl jumper. And then the um, tights are so cute. They're like black and they have green, red, and blue. Um, I don't know what this style is called. Argyle design on them. So cute. And then this is so cute. It's just a black turtleneck kind of. It's like a very small turtleneck, but it will be a little bit of a turtleneck on them. And I love this because this is such a staple outfit or like outfit piece. And then the shoes, I'm also obsessed with. They're just little black, like combat boots kind of thing. They are so nice. I really like these. And then there's hair accessories right here. These are two little like scrunchies for her hair. So cute. And then the little pamphlet shows them like getting ready for. Oh, and then these are like the originals. Isn't that so cute? That's them wearing it. And then let's open up the millennial outfit. Your 2000 outfit, sorry. Do that. That was so much easier. I'm so sorry about my voice, guys. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's such a sparkly material and it's like pink, blue, and purples. Very, very cute. This ties together up here. And then, oh, that is so cute. The shirt is the same pattern, and it's just a little tank top. Oops, it's not focusing. This also just Velcro's in the back, and um, it's the same pattern as the shirt. The skirt is so cute. It's, uh, I don't even know what material this is. It feels really interesting, but I like it. It's a purple skirt, and it has Velcro in the back. And then the leggings, or the tights, they're different like shimmer patterns, so I feel like it wouldn't look like it matches, but it does look good all together. So these are the stretchy little elastic um, tights, so cute. The shoes, I really love the shoes. They are plastic, they're kind of platformed like a very little bit. And then this is the same material as the skirt and you tie it up around her legs. So cute. And then this has butterfly clips to go in the hair. Two pink and two purple. So, so, so cute. I'm gonna put those right there. And then she has the same exact pamphlet, but look how cute that is. Okay, now we're finally gonna open the doll. Um, I'm gonna take this off. Her box is actually very pretty. I love the color scheme she has going on, like orange, pink, purple. It's very cute. So she's the 2024 girl of the year. I know it's not 2024 yet. But they released her early. This is Lila Minetti. She's so pretty. I love this doll. So her book right here is a journal. So I'll probably read that and just check out what she's about. But it looks really cute. And I have heard that her gymnastics coach is named McKenna, which makes sense to McKenna Brooks, which is really cool. Um, the 2012 Girl of the Year. So there's that. And then behind it is her bracelets. These are 
really cute. This one is like blue beaded. Oops. <laughs> A blue beaded bracelet. And then this one has like rope and little gems on it. So cute. So she has these two little bracelets. And then let's get Miss Girl out. And she also, she just has the thing around her neck and around her waist. There's only like ties holding her in. Nope, her hair, hair neck got stuck. No, okay. Oh, and she has them on her feet, I didn't know that. There we go. That was easy to get her out. She's so cute. Look at her. So she has some little plastic on her arms, which I'm gonna take off. A little styrofoam. And then this is new. She has um, plastic in her back. So I don't really know what that is there to protect, but she has nothing on her feet. Okay, this is my favorite part, the hairnet. Let me see. Okay. Her hair looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm so obsessed with the hairstyle, especially I love this hairstyle that she has going on. Her hair is so gorgeous. It's like the caramel color. She has the amber eyes. She has, I think it's a new freckle pattern. Really, really cute. But I love the hairstyle they have because this is like my favorite style to do on myself and I do it on my dolls a lot. So I really love this. It's so cute. She reminds me a lot of Leah, but I kind of like her better than Leah because I love that she has a middle part. Middle part is a big thing for me with my dolls. I really like them to have middle parts. So I love that she has one. I love her meat outfit actually. It's so cute. Um, I feel like it's kind of rare that I actually like a doll's meat outfit and I'm obsessed with this. I would like actually use this on my dolls. It has a pink sparkly shirt. It's a tank top and then she just has the normal pink underwear but I wanted to tuck in her shirt. And these are like fuzzy little velour pink sweatpants with it has like a pink, orange, and yellow stripe down the side. But they are so cute. This is sewn like this so it doesn't actually tighten or loosen. And then her shoes are, I think they're plastic, but they're really cute sandals and they are platformed. And they just have Velcro right here. I'm so sorry about my voice guys, I know this is probably really annoying. <coughs> I'm gonna put her bracelets on. I'm gonna do them on this arm because that's the arm I like to wear my bracelets on. I'm just loosening this one. And then you just pull the little strings to tighten it. Oh, that is so cute! I actually really love her collection. I don't really like the horse, the riding outfit, or the stable, but I love all the gymnastics stuff, and I really love her pajamas. I'm probably gonna end up getting her pajamas at some point, because uh, I do really like them. She is just such a pretty doll. I'm so obsessed with her. So now let's open her accessories. Okay, we have her accessories here, and I'm just gonna open this. These are so cute. I love the accessories, and I usually don't love a lot of the doll's accessories either, and I, I'm just loving that I love every single th thing about Lila and her accessories and her meat outfit. First, she has this little belt bag that can be a crossbody bag, and I love that because I wear one like almost every day, and I wear it across my body like that. And I love that it has the adjustable little like thing, and it actually unclips. It's so cute, and then it actually opens, so you can put stuff in here. This is adorable. And then sunglasses. She has these really cute orange sunglasses and I really like these a lot. They are so cute. They should fit in here. And then here she has a little phone and this is the case. So she has a tiny little smartphone and the case has this little handle so she can actually hold it with her little hands. And then this is the phone. 
it's just a little black, all black, and then you can take it apart like this to put a screen in. Or if you leave it blank, then it looks like the phone's off. But these are the screens, and I'm excited to check these out. So she has her lock screen, which is really cute. The color scheme is similar to her box. And then this is like the inside, just a bunch of things. I'm gonna put it like this, because I think that's really cute. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my voice. I know this is so annoying. And now, her little phone. I can put it in the case. And isn't that so cute? And then this is a ton of different colored hair elastics. You can do hairstyles on her. Really cute. I'm just gonna keep those in that. And then these are hair gems, which I just found out. I thought they were like stickers, but I found out that they are Velcro, so they're actually reusable. They just Velcro onto the doll's hair, which is really cool, so you can use them a billion times and they won't like stop working. So I actually really like that, because at first I wasn't really excited about this, because if they were stickers, I was not gonna use it. But I actually probably will use these. I think these are really cute, so I love this. And then this little booklet here is a step-by-step -step guide on like how to do her different hairstyles, and it teaches you double braids, French braid, classic bun, bubble braid, double buns, fishtail braid, rope braid, and that's it. That's really cool, so that's pretty handy that it'll teach you how to do different hairstyles on your girl. Here she is with the accessories. She just looks so adorable. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer to have a look at the doll in all her beauty. I'm gonna take the glasses off so you can actually see. She's the Josefina face mold. She is just so gorgeous. And look at that hair. My absolute favorite, I'm obsessed. She's just so, so cute. She still kind of has box hair, I haven't brushed it, but it is so pretty. I'm obsessed. Another thing I wanted to mention about this doll is she's actually the first doll to come out that has the um, star on the bottom of her foot. I think it's this one. Yeah, so she has the AG star like embedded into the bottom of her foot. I'm pretty positive this one doesn't have it, but let's check anyway. I know some people were upset about this, but I really don't think it affects anything. I don't really know why they started doing this, but that is something that she has. Yeah, well I don't know if she was the first one they did this on, but this is the first doll I have that has this. And I actually was unaware of that until I saw someone on Instagram post about it, so that is interesting. But I don't think it takes away from the doll, you really don't notice it. Um, it's not a big deal to me, so I don't mind. So yeah, here's the new 2024 Girl of the Year, Lila Minetti. I had so much fun going to the store and picking her out and doing the whole little experience of getting to see her in person. I really loved it. Um, I definitely recommend this doll. I think she's so pretty. She's my favorite doll currently, I'd have to say. I just really am obsessed with her. She has so many features that I love. Um, I love the uh, Josefina face mold. I love dolls with freckles. I love dolls with curly hair. And I love dolls with middle parts. She has so many features I love so much. I'm obsessed with her collection, except for like the horse stuff, but other than that, I really love her collection, and I just think she's really adorable. Definitely worth getting. I'd say this is a great one for um, the upcoming like, holiday season. Definitely would recommend her. So yeah. I, it was weird that they released the Girl of the Year so early this year, because normally it used to be the old girl would be retired on December 31st, and the new girl would come out on January 1st and they've stopped doing that. They keep the girls around for like two, three years before they're like really gone. And I get it, but also it's a little bit sad because I feel like it takes away from the exclusivity of these dolls and like what they were meant to be. So it's just interesting. Um, 
I could definitely talk more on that maybe when I have more of a voice if you if anyone wanted to hear more about that but yeah here is my really pretty girl I'm probably gonna end up changing her name I'm not sure to what but um, for now she'll just be Lila but I might end up changing her name but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'm so sorry I have to deal with my super annoying scratchy voice um, I hope in my next video it won't be like this I was going to wait to even longer to open her so I wouldn't sound like this but I I've been waiting three days and I just really wanted to open her. I was like getting jealous seeing everyone on Instagram posting them and I really wanted to open mine up so I can play with her and change her outfit and stuff. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys later. Bye.